And a good evening to you on this Wednesday. I'm Kyle Inski. I'm Paula Toady. We began with something millions of Americans are doing today, and that is traveling for Thanksgiving. Yeah, AAA expects this to be the third busiest travel day on record. As Local 12's Christian Hauser tells us tonight live, the higher gas prices don't seem to be holding many people back. Right, Christian? Yeah, that's exactly right, Kyle. We're overlooking I-71 just north of the Lytle Tunnel. And as I was driving around today, I definitely noticed that there was a little bit more congestion than usual for the middle of the, of the day on I-75, I-71. It was in the usual parts, parts around Ronald Reagan, Cutting the Hill, that sort of thing. I went to the rest stop in Monroe to talk with some drivers to see whether or not the higher gas prices, higher grocery prices had any impact on whether they were going to travel to see their families. Dana Rusnick and her family are almost to their final destination of Central Michigan. The family left their South Carolina home yesterday. We normally would fly, but flying around Thanksgiving has gotten very expensive, and half the time the flight are canceled. It's canceled, so it's just better to drive. There are plenty of other drivers alongside Rusnick and her family, and they'll be paying more at the pump. This time last year, Ohio, for instance, was paying an average of $3.21 a gallon. This year, that price is up to about $3.59 per gallon. Now, despite those increased prices, AAA is predicting 55 million people are going to travel more than 50 miles this year for Thanksgiving. That's the third highest projection the company's made. We're hearing consistently that people said they will cut everywhere else, but they definitely want to take a trip. They've waited. Uh, some people may have traveled last year for the first time in a couple of years, but this year it really feels like things have returned to normal. That's what Rusnick says her family is doing, focusing on time together and skipping elsewhere. We're not really going to change that much of what we're doing. I mean, we're still going to eat the same food and drink the same amount of alcohol and maybe not shop as much on, on Friday, Black Friday, but otherwise for the holidays, it's, I would say it's the same. Now, Parker tells me part of the high number of folks traveling likely has to do with the pandemic and many of those families deciding not to take a trip in 2020 or last year. Now they're realizing just how much they miss those trips and are doing whatever it takes to make it there. Live downtown, I'm Christian Hauser. Live from a very busy and noisy interstate there. Christian, thank you so much. Local gas prices fell an average of about a dime over the past week, reflecting drops in every state around the country.